Lissa Productions. So today we're going to talk about how we would measure the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistance for some circuit that we might have in the lab so that we could come up with the equivalent circuit for that. We start, we have some, just some black box circuit, we don't, it doesn't really matter what it is, two outputs, and we know the Thevenin equivalent is a voltage source in series with a resistor, so R Thevenin and V Thevenin, and we'd like to determine what those are. We know these are equivalent in the sense that they have the same IV curve. So whatever this IV curve is, it's the same as that one. So that's how we're going to talk about how we're going to measure this. And when we first talked about this, there's a couple of things we could do. We know if we simply measure the voltage across these two terminals, it's equivalent to measuring the voltage across this. No current flows, so the voltage has to be V Thevenin. So there's going to be a point here. V Thevenin. So if we measure the open circuit voltage, that is the Thevenin voltage. So just going in and measuring the voltage there gives us V Thevenin. The other thing we could imagine doing, it's not very smart generally, but we could imagine doing it, is to simply connect a wire between those two leads. If you did that, you could imagine, well, if I just plugged the wire into the two, two, two parts of an electrical outlet, I'd probably get a big spark and I'd blow a circuit. So that wouldn't be smart. But mathematically, I can do it here. And it's equivalent to basically putting a wire here. And now some current is going to flow through this circuit. It's a short circuit current, ISS. And that short circuit current is going to be the voltage, V Thevenin, divided by the resistance, R Thevenin. So that's going to be there, and there'll be no voltage here. So we get a point here, this short circuit current, V Thevenin over R Thevenin. And that's the IV curve. So by measuring the short circuit current and the open circuit voltage, we've basically measured those two points on an IV curve. And now we just need to get the slope here. So that slope is going to give us the resistance. Well, we can actually get it right here. We know V Thevenin. And we know V Thevenin over R Thevenin, so the, let's just write it, the short circuit that we measured is V Thevenin over R Thevenin, or R Thevenin is V Thevenin over I short circuit. So we measure the open circuit voltage and the short circuit current. We get the Thevenin voltage and the Thevenin resistance. That is one way we could do it, but as we mentioned, that's probably not the best way in the world to do that. So let's now talk about possibly a better way to do this. So again, we're interested in the IV curve, and we know if we measure the open circuit voltage, V Thevenin is V open circuit, that's perfectly safe to do. Now what we'd like to do is we'd like to make a measurement that is probably also safe, and one way we can do is we can put a resistor here. And that resistor we're going to choose by, we're going to take the measured Thevenin voltage, or the open circuit voltage, and pick a resistor such that the current that would flow through that resistor with that voltage is on the order of a few milliamps, maybe a milliamp or so. So for example, if V open circuit is 5 volts, so we went in and we measured 5 volts, then we would choose R to be 5 kiloohms, and if we did that, the current through that resistor would be something like 5 volts over 5 kilo ohms, 1 milliamp. That's generally a very safe circuit current. So we'd go and do that. We'd measure then that point there. And what that's going to do is it's going to give us a point here, some measured voltage with that resistor and some measured current with that resistor. And here's our open circuit. And then our IV curve looks like that. And with this point and this point, we can now fit the line and determine what the, the Thevenin resistance is. Now remember, our Thevenin is minus 1 over the slope of that line. So let's just look at the slope. The slope is the change in the current, so it's 0 minus IR over V Thevenin minus VR. So VR and IR are what we measured here. And that's going to be minus 1 over R Thevenin. Flip that, and we're going to get R Thevenin is V Thevenin minus the measured voltage for that resistor divided by the current with that resistor. 
That is always a safe way to do it. We measure the open circuit voltage. We pick a reasonable resistor based on that, measure the voltage across that resistor, which gives us the current through it, and then we can calculate the Thevenin resistance. That then gives us the equivalent R Thevenin and V Thevenin for any circuit in a method that's safe. We aren't going to blow circuits. We're not going to burn things up. It's a safe way to do it. Mathematically, we can short circuit. Experimentally in the lab, we want to be a little more careful so we don't break something, so we pick a reasonable resistor and do that. So that's how we measure V Thevenin and R Thevenin in the lab.